was able to focus on more than just getting healthy this offseason. And if you listen to what Dak is saying ahead of this season, the NFC elite might be looking over their shoulder at Dallas. Here's what he said, quote, a couple of weeks out, and I'm in the best shape that I've ever been in. I feel like since the injury, I've trained more functional than I ever have. So I see it in my body. I see it in the way I move and how the ball is coming out. Interesting. If you look back at that list of top 10 quarterbacks voted on by coaches, executives, and players, courtesy of Mr. Jeremy Fowler, right here to my left, Dak Prescott is at number 10 ahead of quarterbacks like Lamar Jackson and Kyler Murray. So we bring back Jeremy Fowler and, of course, Rob Ninkovich just chimed in on his golf game. Ninkovich, how much pressure is there on Dak Prescott to win a Super Bowl this season for the Cowboys? Yeah, there's a lot of pressure on him now. I mean, I'm sure Jerry Jones didn't pay him the contract that he has to just hope that he wins one playoff game. So we understand the pressure to play in Dallas back in the day when they were winning multiple Super Bowls. They haven't been there in a long, long time. So I think Jerry Jones is chomping at the bit to have a team. He has a talented team, but to have the quarterback especially to get them back into a Super Bowl. So, yeah, I think the pressure's on Dak. He's got to win. He's got to win now. We hear this a lot in sports media. Heading into training camp, someone's in the best shape they've ever been in. This is going to be the year. Hope springs eternal in the middle of the summer. But what are you hearing about how Dak, Dak Prescott looks right now? Well, the difference with Dak in that regard is that he's finally healthy, and that's sort of a relief around the Cowboys building, permeating. I talked to John Beck, former NFL quarterback who trains Prescott and some others in the offseason, works extensively with Prescott. He said, we don't have to go through any sort of ramp-up process this year where he's trying to learn how to reestablish himself off play action and going slowly like he can just train like himself and be liberated so they've seen a difference there in the building he can focus on his leadership so he's passed all the physical limitations that really he's had for the better part of the last two years and so they're relieved by that uh, and, and they believe that they're well positioned to win the NFC East again it makes a lot of sense Rob Dak Prescott right now in the poll with executives coaches and players is at number 10 after he puts in this season of work, do you expect him to rise or fall from that when we reconvene before next season? I think he's going to rise. I, I don't see him falling off a cliff here and not being similar to what he was last year. Last year, coming off that injury, week one against Tampa, he looked lights out. He looked really good. And I also think that there were some issues within the team. We saw the time management issues, the coaching issues. I think that this year especially, maybe another year of an offseason where he's not focused on rehabbing an injury, but actually focused on himself. I, I think he might climb the ladder, climb up this list a little bit um, by the end of the season. This is my favorite part of the show. I love this segment. It's time for Captain <laughs> Robbius. I love Captain Robbius so much. Look at the graphic. Look at the captain. This is where I, I ask about... Captain Robbius. <laughs> questions and he gives me the obvious answer first one is this which quarterback needs to win the Super Bowl most this season Captain Robbius I think that's Aaron Rodgers and listen we've been talking about Aaron Rodgers he's been an MVP one two three you know he'll count him out for you but he only has one ring I think when you look at him compared to the other greats they've had multiple he needs to get multiple and continue on this this pursuit of not losing these games against the 49ers, which they're haunting him, he's got to win those games, get into a Super Bowl. Next, Captain Robbius, which QB will take the biggest leap forward this season? I think it's the 49ers, Trey Lance. I really think that he is going to take a big step forward. You hear all the reports coming out of 49ers camp. He's been impressive. He's a leader. He's a big guy. He's physical. He can run around. He can scramble. He can do all those things that you see in a modern 2022 quarterback. He can get outside the pocket. He can avoid people, and he can throw down the field. I think he has a big season. I love this Captain Robin segment so much. My final question is, which quarterback has the best supporting cast? I think it's Josh Allen. I, I, I think you look at Buffalo and what they have offensively, they're impressive. And last year was a great year. Diggs is only more confident. You see the videos of him doing all the no-look catch drills. I think Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills are going to put up historic numbers this season. No-look catch drills. Coming up.